Mitral valve disease is a significant problem in Cavalier King Charles Spaniels. By the time Cavaliers reach late adulthood, almost 100% of them will be affected by this disease. While some dogs can lead normal lives, for others, the disease can severely impact their quality of life or lead to congestive heart failure. We work on mitral valve disease in dogs because it's a very common disease and there are still many things that we don't understand about it. Dr. Borgarelli and his team are using a technique developed for human medicine, 3D echocardiography, to see if they can better understand why this disease has such an impact on breeds like Cavaliers. So by assessing the mitral valve using 3D echo, we are hoping to be able to identify uh, predictors that will help us to identify dogs that will develop disease faster or they will have a worse disease. We rely on volunteer dogs from all over the country and even Canada in order to be able to complete our study. And today we've got Mia and Tucker and Buxton here visiting us from North Carolina. Say hi guys, say hi. With a family of eight Cavaliers, we should probably offer to put our dogs in it to see what we could find out because I've been reading a lot about mitral valve disease. Because I'm a veterinarian and this is my alma mater um, and I knew I wanted a Cavalier for a very long time so as soon as I got her I knew that I would want to see if she could be enrolled in the study so I just kind of waited until she was old enough to see if she would be um, a, good, a good candidate. So if my, one of my dogs could help solve the problem for future generations of Cavaliers, I'm all for it. So our research is ongoing and we are making good progress. Uh, we are planning to continue this research for the next few years and we are hoping that we'll continue to have the participation that we saw up to today from owners and breeders of our friends' Cavaliers. While this current study focuses on dogs with healthy hearts, Dr. Borgarelli and his team are seeking funding for a study to follow dogs who have already developed early signs of mitral valve disease. They've applied for additional grant funding, and owners can also contribute directly to support the next phase of this project. If my dogs are a small part of that, and we're a small part of that, it's um, for posterity, you know? It's part of our legacy. We don't have kids, we have Cavaliers. <laughs>